A Visit from the Tooth Fairy by Adrian Bloma. Adrian is a six-year-old boy in first grade who is getting ready for bed in his pajamas. He is brushing his teeth as he is making funny faces and singing funny songs. His tooth falls out. gonna get a visit from the tooth fairy. But what if the tooth fairy doesn't come? Oh, she always came when I was a kid. You just have to put your tooth under the pillow and fall asleep. Remember, she only comes after you fall asleep. (laughs) Clickerty click, clickerty clack, squawk, squawk, squawkerty squawk. I bet I can catch that tooth fairy. I bet you can get my tooth back. I'm going to stay up for the whole night, but just in case. I'm going to build an invisible hand. I'm going to use a glove, some plastic wrap, spare webs, and a remote control. Oh, that's a great idea. Can I help? Yes! Now, here's the glove. Thank you. The wire. All right. Be careful with this remote. Oh, I will be really careful. To get this in the hand inside. Okay. That. We're done. Perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> Good night.
This has been so much fun, but that alarm means that there's a kid across the street who lost a tooth. Okay, bye, have fun. <laughs> to a real person and become a boy and come live with me so we can play together all the time. But what will happen to all the kids who lose their teeth? Well, there are more tooth fairies. There are 850 tooth fairies. I looked it up in my science journal. Let's look up in your science journal what potion we need to turn a tooth fairy into a boy. This is 850 tooth fairies. Yes, I was right. Here we go. So one, we need a spider. Two, my teeth. Three, one of my hairs. Okay. One tooth. One spider. Got one hair. The next day, his mom was very Good surprised morning. to have another boy living with them. We see them all eating breakfast in the morning, laughing, and having a good time. 